the, what the thing that bothers me the most about Ja. But I don't, you want to explain the infraction? Well, he filmed himself. First of all, I never understand why anybody does social media. Yeah. Because social media has, I mean, it might work for certain people. There's but, some redeeming values of social media, but I don't understand why you film yourself. Do. Well, he didn't think well, people would see that. Well, he filmed himself with guns, Gil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And twice. The thing I don't understand is, first of all, if you got friends filming you with a gun, when you think one of them will say, hey, man, maybe we should have been filming you with a gun. Yeah. He got suspended eight times the first time, and then less than a couple months later, he does it again. Mm -hmm. If your friends are that stupid, he lost like $8 million. Yeah. That's a lot of money. He lost that much? Yes. Wow. But if you got friends around you who think it's appropriate to film you with a gun, and yeah, one of the biggest problems we got in the black community is violence. Yes. And for a guy who's that great a player to be you focusing, like, who's made it in life. Mm -hmm. He's not a nine to five guy. Do you dismiss it as in addition to friends hanging around, you know, friends that don't have your best interests? Do you think is it's his age and that maybe he's, because he's 22, 23, right? Yeah, but let me tell you something. You do not need to film yourself with guns and things like yeah. that. I agree, I agree. It's just a, it's, and I don't mind him having guns. He have guns, that's his own business. But there's no... Do you have a gun? I do. You do? A lot of them. A lot, do you? I do. See, I'm scared of guns. Scared. Uh, you're scared of them? Yeah. They come in handy when the crook's around. <laughs> they don't come in handy. I mean, I, look, I feel safer with a gun, mm -hmm. me personally. Mm -hmm. I don't touch my gun unless I go practice. Mm -hmm. I don't try to show it to anybody, mm -hmm. but I feel safer with it. But I'm definitely not going to put it on Instagram like yeah. a damn idiot. Yeah. Especially... After you had already did it one time, and less than two months later, you did it again. And I never want to get on TV and act like a hypocrite. I am a gun guy. Mm -hmm. I feel safer with a gun, but I understand it's a... Re my, my bodyguard, James Haywood, is a cop. We talk about it all the time. He said, hey, do not touch that gun except for two reasons. You're going to practice or you're going to shoot somebody. Mm -hmm. Anything else... And I've never shot anybody. You haven't? And I... No, yeah. I... You know, and I, I mean, have you ever shot the gun? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I you've practiced. never... Okay. But I, I wouldn't want to shoot anybody, but if I felt threatened... And like I say, I've been arrested a few times for fighting, but I would never touch the gun unless my life depended on it. You just... You've been arrested a few times for fighting, have yeah, you? Yeah, I have. Okay. I'm, I was that, young, Gail. Okay. He has been facing criticism for saying that immigrants are, quote, poisoning the blood of the country. Think about that for the second. Poisoning the blood of the country. Last night, he addressed those criticisms, and then he doubled down. And it's true. They're destroying the blood of our country. That's what they're doing. They're destroying our country. They don't like it when I said that. And I never read Mein Kampf. They said, oh, Hitler said that in a much different way. Well, there's something about those words that it, it did uh, make a lot of people... is triggering for a lot of people, poisoning the blood of the country, because that is in the book Mein Kampf from Adolf Hitler. And while he may not have read it, I think people close to him may have read it. What did you think when you heard those words? He, uh... trying to make people fearful of immigrants. Yeah. Uh, black people, Hispanics, Muslims... Uh, obviously, we got a lot of anti-Semitic stuff going on. Even, I would even say against Jewish people. And I think it's a travesty and a disgrace that he's able to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, I do, do agree with one thing. We got to fix our immigration policy. Yes. Mm -hmm. We can't have people just rolling across the border 24-7 like they are now. But for a man who's running for the most powerful position in the world to use pseudo-racist rhetoric, mm -hmm. well, that's one of the reasons I can't vote for that guy. Because, man, um, he just rubs me the wrong way. And people can vote for whoever they want to, but yeah. I just do not like it at all. Yeah, 